guys, it's Danielle with Dean Made Crochet, and today we're talking all about crochet hooks. So I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of the different kinds of hooks that are out there um, so that you can start doing some research on what you think you might like, what you might not like, um, and then, you know, different price points. So real quick, I just want to say that I'm not sponsored by any of these hook people or by anybody. <laughs> um, so these are just like my personal hooks that I have in my collection. And um, this is just like what I've discovered as a blind person doing crochet. So the first kind of hook that I ever got was um, like the, just the metal ones that you can find at Walmart. Um, you can find them online anywhere if you just search for aluminum crochet hook. And they're um, pretty basic. Um, they are color coded for those who can see. Um, so like this one I know is an eye hook because it's green. I think I think that it's an eye hook because it's green. <laughs> um, but that also depends on the brand. So the two main brands of aluminum crochet hooks that you're going to find out there is Susan Bates and Boy. And Boy is spelled B-O-Y-E, just so that you know. Um, you can find them on Amazon. You can find them anywhere. They're pretty inexpensive. They're less than $3 a hook. Um, you can get sets of them as well, but the prices on those vary. Um, so another beginner friendly type of crochet hook is going to be like a plastic hook. Um, I had plastic hooks early on as well, but I didn't like how the yarn slipped across them. Um, I felt like it kind of, when I was, you know, yarning over and pushing through, uh, loops that I, I found that this, these kind of stuck a little bit where the, um, Yarn seemed to glide over the head of the aluminum hooks a little bit easier. Also, my preference is to find crochet hooks with more of a um, pointed tip at the very head where some of them are ra more rounded. Um, I believe Susan Bates is a more rounded head versus the boy hooks that come to uh, more of a tip, more of a point. The plastic hooks are more inexpensive then even the aluminum hooks, you can find entire sets of these for less than $10, pretty much anywhere you look for plastic crochet hooks, okay? So the sizes of crochet hooks, I'm going to show you this big, huge, um, like it's a crochet hook holder. Uh, it's by Erin Lane Bags. I've mentioned them before, but the website is Erin lanebags.com so e-r-i-n-l-a-n-e-b-a-g-s.com um so i got this like my first year that i was crocheting i think it was 30 dollars, and it's just it feels like a jewelry roll but it's got some longer thinner slots in it um so that you can put it's actually meant for double pointed needles for knitters um but you can put crochet hooks in it as well and i think that the pattern on this is like some sort of blue and green floral situation but so the crochet hooks that i have the smallest one i have is a size b like bravo um, I want to say that's like 1.75 millimeters. And then the biggest I have is the S hook, um, which is not on camera, but it's the one that I used for my first couple of tutorials. Um, but in this, in this particular, um, jewelry roll or crochet hook roll, uh, the biggest size that I have is a P like Papa. Um, so there's all sorts of plastic and aluminum hooks in this. There's some ergonomic handled ones. Um, this one right here, this silver hook, it's a size J or a, um, six millimeter hook. Um, this is my favorite hook in the whole world because it was my mama's, um, and I found it in her purse, uh, about three years after she passed. So that's my mama's. Um, I did not have a chance to learn to crochet from her. I didn't even know she crocheted until I found that, but apparently it was a thing. Um, so the next kind of hook I want to show you here, let me move this big guy out of the way. So this is a bamboo hook. Um, so it it's made of bamboo. It's pretty lightweight. Um, it was pretty inexpensive. I think that this was $4. And this is an eye hook. Um, there's no color to it other than the natural wood. It, like I say, it's pretty lightweight. 
I like it. I like the tip of it because it comes to a point. I don't love it though. I, I think aluminum is always going to be my main squeeze. There's not any kind of handle on this one or on the other two on the plastic or uh, basic aluminum that I've showed so far. Um, so your fingers are going to, because there's not an ergonomic handle, your fingers are going to really be able to feel what's going on. Both sets of fingers on your left and right hands as you crochet. So that is a bamboo hook. Now we're going to get into this, uh, ergonomic handle hook. I got this at Hobby Lobby for about $6.00. Um, it was just a crochet hook that was on the rack. There is a brand on here, but I can't make it out. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but so what it is, is for the first hmm, two inches, maybe it's exactly the same as any other uh, eye hook. Um, and then the rest of it is encased in a purpley pink ergonomic handle and so er ergonomic hooks are probably the way to go um, especially if you're going to crochet for a longer period of time because it helps your fingers not cramp up because you're not holding them so close together for hours and hours um with this hook though the more pronounced the ergonomic handle is the further away from your work your right hand is going to be so be mindful of that because you're going to have to adjust your tension and you're going to have to adjust the way that you're feeling things. So this was an individual hook. Um, they do have sets at Hobby Lobby, but they're between $30 and $50. Um, so I just got this one. Um, this was not an, an I hook. I also have an H hook um, from the same group of uh, crochet hooks. And this is what I carry in my um, project bag that I take to work with me every day. So that's that one. Now, I'm going to show you probably the fanciest hook I have. So this hook is a boy, B-O-Y-E, uh, eye hook. Can you tell there's a theme? Uh, eye is my favorite hook. And this has a hand-carved ergonomic wooden handle. So this came from the Etsy shop would be fancy so w-o-o-d space b-e space f-a-n-c-y they're out of wisconsin um actually so there's a youtube channel that i really like watching uh it's called yarn utopia and the girl who crochets on there her dad hand makes these hook handles and then he sticks the head of uh, your preferred size crochet hook in there and then it's stuck in there so they're supposed to be really comfortable you can hold your hook anyway i like it i want to love it because it's a really pretty hook um it's thirty dollars uh for for each hook sometimes they have sale where you can get like two for 50 but they're normally thirty dollars a piece and you can select which hook size you want um I really wanted to love this, you guys. It's beautiful. It's like a lighter colored wood. I want to say this one was apple wood. Yeah, I think this was apple. It's gorgeous. But the problem with it is, is where you hold it, because this handle is so thick, it, it takes up a lot of like real estate, if you will, on the inside of my right hand fingers. So then I can't really feel as well what I'm doing with my yarn. Um, and it ends up being kind of clunky and it slows me down and it gets my tension all out of whack. So again, I really, really love the beauty of this. Um, I might actually put this like in a shadow box or something and uh, use it as decoration for my crochet grotto place. Um, but I don't work with this on a regular basis as pretty as it is. Um, now, that being said this might work great for you um you know you might want to try one of these out and if you do um you know and it works out great for you that's awesome it just doesn't work as well for me as i wish it did but i love it Stop recording video. all right so now i'm going to get into the different sets of crochet hooks that i have so i got this first set as a gift from brian uh 2017 this was my first ever set of crochet hooks this came from Amazon, and if you just search for crochet hook set, this is the first result that comes up. Um, I don't know the brand of it because um, it happened so long ago. But, so this one, sorry y'all, there's construction going on. 
outside like right in our alley so I'm sorry about that um so this crochet hook set it's pretty cool it comes in a zippered pouch so the pouch is gray and then the zippers and then the zipper pulls are pink um which is right up my alley so on the inside you're gonna get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you're gonna get ten hooks so they range from hang on b c d no e, d, yeah so they start at b on the right hand side they start at b like bravo and then on the left hand left hand side they end up with j like juliet and then there is a yarn cutter in here too and again this is one of those things like i really want to like it and i love the portability of it but this yarn cutter and maybe i'm not trying to cut the yarn as um like as strongly as you should or something but this thing always gets hung up and then it ends up splitting my yarn and i have to do this so i have to like snap it open and close like four or five times before it actually cuts my strand of yarn and it doesn't cut it as cleanly as a pair of scissors um but that being said this is nice because it's portable it's all in one um it has a sheath for the tip of your um yarn cutter uh i've gotten it through security before without issue this this is my to go crochet hook set like if i'm taking a crochet hook set with me and i can't decide like oh which one am i taking or what am i working on or i just i'm throwing yarn in a bag and i don't know what i'm gonna make with it yet um this is my go-to crochet hook set they're all ergonomic um so they have an ergonomic handle on them i will say that after some use um the handles tend to loosen off of the hook so i don't know like if they're glued in there and the glue ends up fading or what but like i've used this eye hook a lot is it this one yes it's the eye hook and the handle kind of turned and so i had to turn it back and now it doesn't line up right with uh the head of the hook so that's the only downfall with these hooks but i love them love them love them um these were i believe 22 dollars on amazon for this whole set including the pouch um and then the other thing with this is there is a zipper on the back and so I carry in here, like, I would carry my Iowa scissors um, if I didn't want to, you know, mess with the yarn cutter. I have a couple of blunt-tipped big eye needles for sewing in my ends in here. Um, yeah, so, and you can carry, like, gum or, like, AirPods or something in here. It's not necessarily big enough to carry your phone in, but something little, maybe a pocket slate or some candy i don't have lifesavers in this but <laughs> so that's that set of crochet hooks and and again we found it on amazon now this next set of crochet hooks was a splurge i found this on amazon for 47.99 so these hooks are by clover so like a four leaf clover c-l-o-v-e-r and it's their amour set so a-m-o-u-r and there are 10 hooks in this set as well so um yeah these start at b as well no i think they start at c you get 10 of them they come in a pouch as well but with the other pouch the hooks were held in place by so the bottom of them went into the slats um sewn into the bag and then the top of them were held by a rubber band or like yeah like a band so they didn't move around these do not have that rubber band topper these just have like a piece of fabric over the top of the heads of the hook so they move around a little bit more than the other set does um but what's nice about these is they're so lightweight so i'll pull one out here so that you can see so this is a size j and it is just so lightweight and so comfortable to crochet with um a lot of people a lot of blogs that i follow and a lot of videos that i follow swear by these so i got curious one day and i got them and i do like them very much this is the main crochet hook set that i use here at home i don't take these out with me just because they were a little bit more pricey and i lose things like a lot so <laughs> so i just i'm careful with these um 
there's no yarn cutter in this set, um, which is fine with me. Like I said, I, this doesn't have the um, bands holding the hooks together. I kind of wish it did, and for the price point, I think that it maybe should have. Um, but otherwise, I like this set of hooks very much. Um, the color on the outside is a super duper bright neon green. Um, and then the zipper is like a fuchsia hot pink situation. And then there is a zipper pouch on the back of this one as well. I don't have anything in this one, but you could put like your um, scissors or your yarn needles and your stitch markers in here. So that's this set. You can find these on Amazon too. Um, they range, I've seen them as low as $47.99 and as high as $65, $64.99. Um, so it just kind of varies on the markup that the vendor or that the seller has on these. But I got mine on Amazon. Prime, you know, I'm a Prime member, so free shipping. It was worth it. So the last um, hook that I have, this is my newest hook. Although I do have a, a lighted one coming tomorrow, which I'm going to review for you guys. So this came from the Etsy shop Polymer Clay Shed. So that's P-O-L-Y-M-E-R space C-L-A-Y space S-H-E-D. They're out of Texas. And what makes it special is it's an interchangeable crochet hook set. So you might have, you know, heard that term. You might not necessarily know what that means. So what it is, is they hand, um, they hand, uh, I guess, carved that's not the right word for pot like for clay but they molded this handle um it's about as thick as like a 2020 pen or a marker it's pretty thick um there is no dent in this handle for like for your fingers to sit um but it's hand painted um so this one i believe has peacock feathers and some flowers and they're hand done and to get this much detail in such an itsy bitsy space that's super talented um but then what makes this interchangeable is this top piece so where the neck of the crochet hook would live on the other crochet hook it screws off and then to, it reveals a um a hole and then what you do is they send you all these um two three eight they send you eight crochet hook heads um eight, two, three, D. so these start at d and it goes all the way up to k which this is the first set i've ever seen with k in it so then what you do is you put this piece that you screwed off of the neck of the handle onto the skinny um, tip of this crochet hook head. Then you put the tip of the crochet hook head into that hole that was um, covered by this loose piece and then you screw it in. Um, I believe this set with shipping included was $39. Um, but I like the idea of um, an interchangeable set in case, you know, I'm going somewhere and I'm packed tight on space. Um, it is a bit of a struggle to get the hook head in there. Um, so bear with me. And you have to get it just right because what happens is, like, let's say you're screwing this in. I don't know why this isn't working. Let's see. So this is a lot of work. Um, and obviously I haven't done this enough to be a professional at this. Um, because what I found with this hook, and maybe I'm doing something wrong with it, but what I've found is that if you don't get it screwed in just right, what happens is 
in the space created between the handle and the little um, guard piece that you screwed off to get the hook head in, there's a little gap and the yarn gets caught in that little gap and it frays it. Um, do I think that this is a deal breaker? No, not necessarily because if you fidget with it enough, it does end up smoothing itself out. It just takes a while to get the head on there exactly how um, it should be so that that yarn doesn't snag. It, it takes a minute to get that guard piece screwed on so it's flush with the handle and then you don't get the um, yarn snagged in there. But otherwise, I like it. Um, I love the idea that this is a pretty hook. Um just because I like pretty things. Um, and then I also too like supporting small businesses. So that's also something that um, you could look at on Etsy. They also have different kinds of um, handles. They also have um, individual crochet hooks with the um, polymer clay handle. So the set comes also with this little disc of, it feels like rubber. And at first I was confused with what it was, but what it is, is like, let's say you've screwed on the head of your hook super tight and you need a little bit of help um, unscrewing it. You just would wrap this little piece of rubber around the crochet hook head where the head meets the handle and you would use the rubbery thingy to unscrew it. So that's kind of cool that they sent that. Um, this comes in a very nice think it's microfiber lined case this case is really really nice y'all and it's pink I don't think that you can choose the color of your case I know with the other two sets I showed you you can't and then the zipper is black there is not a zipper on the back of this case um it's just the one that goes around it it's pretty small I would say it's about the size of a wallet maybe like the size of it and then not, obviously not that thickness it's going to be thinner than a wallet or thicker than your wallet depends on what you carry in your wallet uh, but it's pretty small um maybe actually the size of an index card so anyway that's all the hooks that i've got right now to show you um as always if you have questions let me know dmadecrochet at gmail.com and i will talk to you soon thanks stop recording video Hey guys, one more thing. Um, I wanted to quickly address two things. So there are also these very long crochet hooks. They look more like knitting needles. They're called Tunisian crochet hooks. Um, so these are for a variation of crochet. It's called Tunisian. And it's not something that's a basic, that's something that you would use like your basic crochet hook for. It's more of a specialized um kind of crochet so these these hooks you certainly can use them um but because you would be holding your hook closer to the head of it um to do normal crochet you'd have a huge piece towards the bottom of it that would just kind of be waving around in the air um so these are for tunisian um i am still learning how to do tunisian but we'll definitely do more tutorials with it as I learn what I'm doing. So I wanted to address that and then, um, hold on, I'm trying to put the hook away. Okay. And then I also wanted to say, like, if you're looking for a couple of different hook sizes to buy, like if you've never bought crochet hooks before and you're just wondering like, okay, what size do I need? Um, so in my first video, I mentioned to get an end hook, um, just because that one is a good one to start with um, so that you can get a feel for what the stitches are supposed to feel like. But the most common sizes that you're gonna use are G, H, I, J, and K. Um, so if you wanna buy, so usually if I'm trying out a new um, hook brand or a new kind of, um, like the would-be fancy hook, I just got an I because it's right in the middle. So if, if there are a few hooks that you're gonna go out and buy, I would recommend to get the H, I, and J hooks. Um, if you can afford to, definitely get maybe one of the sets or get G, H, I, J, K. Um, but I did want to just mention that those are the most common um, size crochet hooks that you would be using. Uh, so that's it. I just want to come back and tell you that. Okay, now I'm going for real. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.